In this video, we will learn the triangle inequality theorem, which has to do with the constraints on the possible lengths for the sides of a triangle. Let's start making a triangle that has one side length of 10 and think about what could the other po side lengths possibly be? Is it possible that the other side lengths could be three and two? If you think about it, three and two only add up to five. So these two side lengths are not long enough to cover my long side of 10. They don't reach far enough in the middle to actually make meet to make a triangle. So because three plus two equals five and five is less than 10, this would not make a triangle. So let's try again. What if we again started with 10, but instead of three and two, we did six and seven. Now these three lengths will make a triangle because six and seven add up to 13, which is big enough to cover the 10. So because six plus seven equals 13 and 13 is greater than 10, this is a triangle. So the key is this, the greater versus less than versus equal to. It has to be greater than in order for the triangle to exist. So in other words, the smaller two sides of a triangle must add up to be greater than the third side in order for the triangle to actually exist. Now there's another way of thinking about the triangle inequality theorem, another sort of problem. And this sort of problem is when you already know two side lengths for the triangle. So say you had a triangle where two sides were 10 and five. And the question is, what are the possible lengths for the third side? Now, the first thing you wanna realize is that there's actually two ways for this to look. It could look like this with 10 and five, or it could be an obtuse triangle with 10 and five, which means the third side could be possibly much longer. These are sort of the outer limits that we're looking for. We're looking for this third side that we could call X and figuring out what inequality for X will give us the possible lengths for that third side. So in order to work with the triangle inequality theorem, this side from this way of looking at it is has to be greater than five. And the reason is if X was just five, five plus five by itself is only 10. And that's not enough to be bigger that, than 10 to cover the 10 to make the triangle. If it was each five and five, it would actually just make a line segment down at the 10, which isn't actually a triangle. So X has to be bigger than five. Now in the other extreme, as far as the upper bound for the length of X, you couldn't have X be, for example, 100. Because if this side was 100, that's way too big to be covered by the five and the 10. So because the other two sides are five and 10, X has to be less than 15 in order to not be too big in order to be covered by the five and the 10. So what we've learned is that X has to be greater than five and less than 15. So if you know two sides of a triangle, you can figure out the possible lengths for the third side by subtracting the two original numbers, five and 10, to get the lower limit and adding the two original numbers, five and 10, to get the upper limit. 